In this video, I want to go over the detect pangram problem on Code Wars. And what it states is a pangram is a sentence that contains every single letter of the alphabet at least once. So it gives us an example. Um, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This sentence contains every single letter of the alphabet one or more times. And then it says, given a string, detect whether or not it is a pangram. Return true if it is and false if it's not. Ignore numbers and punctuation. So numbers and uppercase letters as well as punctuation marks are going to be jumbled in uh, the sentence that it passes us. The first thing we need to do before we even get into the algorithm of how to solve this is we want to clean up this sentence that it gives us so that it's easier to work with. We want to remove all numbers, all punctuation, turn uppercase letters into lowercase letters. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to create an empty list and then we're going to iterate throughout each uh, letter in that sentence. So for X and X, for X and S, what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if each uh, element or each item in that list is a letter. And if it is, we're going to append it to our list that we just created here as a lowercase letter. So we're just going to say if X dot is alpha. And this function, what it does is it returns true if the character in question is actually a letter. So if it's a punctuation mark or a number, it returns false and it will, uh, this uh, if section of the code won't execute. So what we're going to do is lst.append. What we're going to append is x.lower. Just in case that um, the x is an uppercase, we're going to turn it into a lowercase letter. Okay. And then what we need to do, we need to get in the algorithmic section. We've took our string, we've removed all um, numbers, punctuation marks, turned all uppercase letters into lowercase letters. Our string is now cleaned up. The way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to create a list containing every single letter in the alphabet. And what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through our LST list that contains our uh, sentence. And we're going to, for each uh, letter in that sentence, we're going to check if it's in our alphabet list. If it is, we're going to remove it from the alphabet list. And if, and if at the end of iterating throughout our um, sentence, our alphabet list is empty, that means that it was a pangram and we're going to return true. So the, so the way we're going to uh, create our alphabet list is with Unicode values. Unicode values um, A through Z is 97 through 123. So we can just create a simple for loop for or through 122 for x in range of uh, 97 to 123. What we're going to do is we actually have to create our alphabet list. So alf is equal to empty list. What we're going to do is alf.append and what we're going to append is chr and x. So this chr func uh, method, what it does is it converts the uh, integer into its corresponding Unicode value. So 97 will be a, and it'll append a to our alf uh, list. 98 will be b, and so on and so forth until we go up to 122. This alf uh, list is going to contain every single letter in the alphabet without having to manually type it out, because that will take some time. So the last thing we need to do is we need to iterate throughout our sentence and, to, and check to see if each letter in our sentence is in our alpha list. So we're going to iterate through our um, uh, sentence list. So for x in LST, we're going to check if x is in our alphabet list. Our alphabet list. So if x is in alpha what we're going to do is we're going to remove that particular letter from our alphabet list. So what we're going to say is alf.remove x, okay? And at the end of this, we're just going to return true if the if the length of our alphabet list is 0, and if it's not, we're going to return false. So return true if the length of our alpha list is equal to 0. And then if it's not equal to zero, so if there's something in our alphabet list, we're going to return false, okay? And this should work. Let's go here and test it. 
uh, test passed, so let's attempt it. Okay, all seven uh, test items passed. Um, that's just a uh, quick tutorial on how to do the detect pangram problem on Code Wars. I hope that it was helpful, and if it was, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.